All right, good morning. I'm just making the bed real quick, and getting ready for the day. It's looking pretty good in here. Got the bed made. I just have a little bit of a mess over there. You can see I'm actually parked in front of my mom's house. I'll explain a little more about that in a little bit. I actually got a lot I need to explain in today's video. I'm gonna head to the park, take Finn for a quick walk, and there's a really cool coffee shop I wanna check out because I got a gift card for it. Just get this day started. I've been using this little thing for extra light. And it just magnets to the metal. It's been pretty nice. And I think it was only like five dollars or something. Today's definitely garbage day. I should probably just spend like a hour today just cleaning the van. Alright, just got to the park. It's actually like a really nice day. Been like 20 degrees Fahrenheit the last week or so, and today's like 40 degrees, blue sky, so perfect day to be getting out. Ready for a walk, buddy? Let's go, come. Alright, so I'm pretty tired, and the coffee shop I want to go to is just over there in that little shopping mall type thing. So I'm going to go walk down over there real quick. i got to drop Fenton off in the van first though. It's definitely a little messy in here. I'm going to bring my computer and stuff because i got some work I need to do. Probably just hang out in the coffee shop for 30 minutes or so, get some stuff done. Well, it turns out I cannot find my gift card for that shop, so it looks like we'll just be going to good old McDonald's. Get a 99 cent coffee, so man, that's a bummer. That was kind of a rough start. All right, just got to McDonald's, and I'm gonna try not to be shy and just film in there, because I've never filmed in McDonald's before. All right, be right back, buddy. All right, I'm not sure what to do next. I think I'm just gonna go park at my mom's house, make some lunch in the van, and then I'll do all my explaining, tell you guys why I'll be spending the next, I think a month at, around my mom's house. I'll be parked out there for a while. Yeah, I'll just explain all of that. Let's go make some lunch and stuff. I am completely sandwiched by two cars right now, so I'm kind of scared to back out. All right, we did it. Only because there was an empty parking spot behind me. We are here. All right, so I've just been doing some editing, and like I said, I'm at my mom's house, so I do need to be a little quiet. I don't really want anyone to know I'm in here, but um, for lunch, I'm going to make some oatmeal real quick. Uh, lately, I've just been cooking on my cooler, because now I get to keep my counter space open. Doing two cups of water for one cup of oats. I think that's the right ratio. Double the amount of water. Forgot to put my vent on. That syrup is rotten, I think. 
does not taste good. All right, so me and my brother are gonna go skateboard for a little bit. I'll show you guys some clips of that, but I'm sure you guys don't wanna to see too much skateboarding. Alright, so I just got to Walmart for the night. This is where I'm going to be staying, as you can see. It gets dark at like 4.30 now, but it's actually like already 8 o'clock right now because I was spending a lot of time with my brother and my mom and stuff. I know I keep saying this, but I'm actually going to explain what's going on now. Just the whole situation of why I'm... Yeah, I'll just tell you guys right now. But let me get all situated in the back real quick. Alright, I'm all set up in the van for the night. Everything kind of cleaned up. Spilt my oatmeal everywhere. Finally have a chance to do some explaining and I just want to kind of update you guys on my situation and what my future plans are with living in the van. Basically the whole thing with my mom, I'm going to be staying around. A lot of my videos might take place around the house because I'm going to be spending Thanksgiving and Christmas there. I'm going to try to get out and try different spots around the city, do some stealth camping, but for the most part I might be just making my videos in her driveway or in front of her house. Um, the cool thing is is this entire month that I'm staying here or however long it is until Christmas. I'm gonna be saving money, I'm gonna be working a lot, and hopefully after we spend Christmas together and all of that, that's when I plan to be heading off and actually traveling, like actually travel around the country and stuff. Hopefully everything goes well and I'm able to save up the money that I need to do that, but I do have some good plans. I think I should be set to go after Christmas. I'm not sure where I'm gonna go, but I'm missing a drive, finally travel. I've been in this basic area for like the past almost a year now. So I'm not the best at explaining things so I hope you guys kind of got the idea of spending the next month or so at my mom's house and then hitting the road. Very excited but I'm not gonna get my hopes up because things always happen. Hopefully I save up enough money. But anyways I got some cool stuff in the mail that I want to show you guys. So the first thing was actually from one of you guys. I don't remember your name because I lost the envelope it came in. I always see her comment in the comment section. I just can't remember the name. She sent me this letter. It had $20 in it. It says, out comes the sun, because sooner or later it always does. So like this kind of stuff really means a lot. So I really appreciate it. Just thank you very much. Now, the other thing that got sent to me was actually from a company. They want me to just review their product. It's not paid or anything. I'm just simply gonna check it out real quick. All right, so I was pretty excited, so I opened it like a week ago, and I've been using this product for the last week, and I'm re I really like it so far. But basically, it's a it's like a survival knife, a bushcraft knife. Let me show you guys. The company is called Holtzman's. Uh, I got this new head strap I'm gonna try out. Let me know what you guys think of this angle. So let's check out the Holtzman's knife. It was in like little plastic bags. I just, I took it out and threw the bags away already. These are their socials. So it comes with little things, like I think this is so you can wear it as a necklace. Got some like bolts and screws and stuff so you can add the attachments on. And it also comes with a fire starter. As you can see, I, I definitely used it a little bit because I was checking it out. I'll show you guys too. But let's take the knife out. And I think that looks really cool. And it definitely has a really nice grip. That feels, that feels awesome and it's made of D2 steel. And let me tell you, this thing comes like extremely sharp. Like you definitely do not have to sharpen this. From my time of using this, my favorite part is this little holster thing it comes with. Like it's pretty heavy duty and just the way it snaps into it really nicely. Like it's pretty sturdy and nice. You have the option to um, put this clip on and you can like put it around your belt loop or just your belt in general. But I personally like this part better. You can kind of just slide it over your waist part of the, your pants. And as you can see, you got this little part right here so you can hold your fire starter too. And if you just like it simple, it looks like you can take the fire starter holder off. And if you want to add like any other attachments such as take this off or put this on, you simply just unscrew and put it through the holes. Last thing it comes with is this little Allen wrench. It also has a screwdriver on it, oh yeah. It's really cool that they sent this to me. I'll definitely recommend it, that's for sure. Like, I have no complaints. 
Let's check out this fire starter. I haven't got all the little black stuff off, so it didn't start that good yet, but. Yeah, as you can see, got a little spark. But yeah, that pretty much sums up the knife they sent me. Like I said, I'm not being paid or anything, but I do have some affiliate links. So if you do want to buy them and you buy them through my link, I do get a little bit of commission. That does allow me to make a little bit of money. It's already 10 o'clock. I just edited for like the past two hours. But, um, supposed to get down to like 20 degrees tonight and I'm already like pretty cold, so. I'm also tired, so I'm gonna get all bundled up in my blankets and stuff and go to sleep. I need to get a new diesel heater for right there. Those two holes from my old diesel heater are letting in a lot of cold air. I'm just gonna clean this mess up in the morning. I'm way too tired. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning, guys. It's only three in the morning right now, but it is extremely cold. I don't know if you can see my breath, but like it's miserably cold right now. I'm gonna have to just get up and start my day so I can get like dressed up all warm and stuff. I just had the stove running. I don't like running that thing too long. Well, I'm gonna get dressed all warm, make some coffee and stuff. We'll see what we do for the day. All right, I'm all bundled up now. I feel pretty good now, so. It's been pretty cold lately, but today's definitely the cold, coldest it's been. Might as well just make some coffee and stuff, get the day started. Hey, buddy. This is what I'm drinking today. I'm excited for this coffee. Smells good. All right, it's four o'clock now. I should probably get the, the van started so it can start warming up in here. I'm gonna reach over and try to start it. The engine's kind of loud lately. I don't know if you guys can hear it back here, but well, I say we get out of here. I'm starting to kind of get bored, so. Windshield's all frosty. 